Well, we are learning more about a major investigation into the Maynard Independent School District. Last month, we told you about two employees from the payroll department who resigned after being placed on administrative leave pending the results of an audit. KXAN Skyly McGivern joins us live from the school board meeting tonight where audit findings were presented. Kyle Robert and Aaron, we just stepped outside of the meeting where a forensic accountant gave a very brief presentation on the investigation before going into a closed session. Now, he reminded the board members that the audit was recommended after annual auditors found financial irregularities and also issues within the payroll department. Now, because of the audit, which began back in October, included recommendations for personnel, operations, included specific names. It was recommended, again, that they go into closed session to discuss this. I want to remind people this is the first time that these board members have even set eyes on this report. Now, here's a little bit more about what we do know. After we learn that the auditors are aware of three Mainer employees who have resigned relevant to this specific investigation. Keep in mind, before tonight, we were only aware of two. At this point, we cannot confirm if that third employee was also in the payroll department. Ahead of the meeting, we spoke with a Mainer ISD employee who used to serve as the band's percussion director. Now, he told us that he first went to administrators with financial concerns surrounding the band and color guard more than a year ago now. That was the first warning sign when the color guard had that type of district budget. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. And color guard was one of the things the auditor brought up. It was. In, indeed, color guard was part of that and some irregularities there. I, again, no one has implied that anyone has stolen money. We don't know that to be true at all at this point in time. Interim Deputy Superintendent Roy Knight, who you just heard from, told us that the audit will be made public after the board, of course, was able to review it. We understand that should be within the next couple days that the public will be able to see all of those specifics. For now, reporting in Maynard, Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. And late tonight, we learned after the closed-door session that Roy Knight was named acting superintendent of the Maynard ISD as uh, Kevin Brackmeyer has been placed on family medical leave.